Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here. I'm going to be installing a Cool Runner into a FAT console. This is a Jasper. The CB is 6751. I'm going to show you out there that it is possible. Um, you know, I know some people have problems with it. Uh, I haven't had an issue with it. I did one earlier today, and I'm going to do one right now for you guys. I'm using the Quick Sider board and the uh, cables that come with the Nandex, I mean, with the Cool Runner. Remember you get a set of slim and fat cables with your Cool Runner. Um, I'll be using the NAND X with the V3 code for this. And uh, really it's quite simple. So what I'm going to do is I will be putting a quick solder board here and a quick solder board up here. And that will reach out to the correct point on the HANA chip and I'll read the NAND and I'll show you how to do all of that so first things first I'm going to show you the install diagram for the quick solder board and once that's complete I'll get back with you and show you how to plug up the NAND X and read the NAND Okay guys, you should have followed the install diagrams for the quick solder boards. Once you do that, it'll look like this. Go ahead and put it back in your cage here. And uh, we're just about ready to read the NAND. But first we have to connect it to the NAND X. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Just plug in your NAND X cables. Like that. And like this. right here right there and we have one more to plug in over here right like that and let's go ahead and plug in the Nandex as well Make sure we're plugging it in the right way. And we are. So that's plugged in. Then we'll need to plug in the USB for the Nandex. Right there. We'll set that there. And go ahead and plug in the console just into the wall outlet. Uh, do not turn it on. And make sure it's plugged into the wall outlet. That way you'll be able to get the NAND to pop up. Uh, in NAND Pro. So now we're going to go over to the computer and I'm going to show you what to do from there. Okay guys, we're here on the computer. Now what we want to do is go ahead and make sure that we have the console plugged in uh, to the wall outlet power supply and that we have the NAND X connected via USB. And there it goes, it's connected. So what we want to do now is we want to get our NAND reads we want to get more than one. Personally, I like to do four. So what I do is I have my commands here. What we're going to do is we're just going to highlight all of those. Right click. Go to copy. Uh, we open up our command prompt in the NAND Pro 3.0 folder. What we did for that was we right clicked on the folder and then went to open command window here. And that's where we're at right now. So we can go ahead and paste those commands in. And it should automatically start doing it for us. And what's it should do one, then two, then three, then four. And when this gets done, uh, we'll go ahead and build our GG build file and then we'll write that to the console. And I'll show you how to do that. But I'll let this finish and let this go through and do the four and end reads. And once it completes, I'll be back with you guys in maybe 10 minutes, if that, for all four reads. Okay, we got our NAND reads, all four of them. Um, they just finished right now. So what we want to do is we want to go to the NAND Pro 3.0 folder. We want to select and copy all of the NAND reads. Then we want to drag them into a folder for our Cool Runner that we're doing right now. Just You would label this with your console. And then we need to open up NAND Healer 7, uh, 0.7. Oh, wrong thing. NAND Healer 7.7 .7 right here. If it's on the right folder, it'll go ahead and analyze the net. 
and then just hit compare and you'll see that they all matched now once they're all matched then we're going to open multi build version 0 0.4 we can go to data and then we're going to go to my 360 then we're going to come down here and we're going to paste in our NAND dump and we're going to name it NAND dump and then we're going to hit back and then back again and we're going to go to run this is a Jasper console it is a 512 megabyte console so I'm going to hit 4 and right here is where I want to pause and take a second and tell you that um, it's very important for when you're reading your NAND that if it is a 16 megabyte console uh, that would be the Zephyr, Falcon, Opus or uh, Jaspers without onboard memory you would want to do minus R16 if it is a big block Jasper that would be your 256 megabyte and your 512 megabyte console you want to do minus R64 for reading the NAND so now back to multi build here what we want to do is we want to hit 4 and then hit enter and then it's going to say the file cpu key.txt is missing so then it's going to do uh, zell ecc glitch image will be built instead so just hit any key and then it's going to tell you what your cb version is and obviously this is a 6751 so it's not really uh, it can't build a CB version with that, so it's going to use the donor version of 6750. So just hit any button on that, or hit enter on that, and you'll see that it is building your ECC file here. Give it a second or two, and it'll complete really quick. And there you go, just hit any key. Now we want to go over to data, then we want to drag the image. Uh, 0000.ecc uh, file, just drag that into your NAND Pro 3.0 folder and you want to go back to your commands and you want to use this command here, it's very important that you use plus W16 then you can just come down here to administration I mean to uh, command prompt and put that command in it's really quick it's 40 blocks once this completes go ahead and unplug your NAND reader your NAND X and connect the console and I'm gonna go there and show you what to do now so when I'll be back I'll be with you on the console showing you what you gotta do and give me a second okay so we have our ECC glitch file written to the console uh, what we want to do now is go ahead and remove the NAND X connections. Just push down on the board and pull. Do the same thing for back here. You can go ahead and plug the console like that. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and install the Cool Runner. So I'm going to show you the diagram for that. I'm going to do that as well. Okay guys, we have our glitch image written to the NAND. We have our Cool Runner installed. As you can tell, the red LED is on. So we can go ahead and unplug the NAND X, like so. And we can unplug it from the console. Be sure to hold on to the quick solder boards and put some pressure on them when you're disconnecting everything. We can slide this out of the way. Now just to be safe, let's go ahead and reset the uh, power supply. You'll notice the NAND, the light on the cool runner goes out, so we'll just push that back in. And the light's on. So, let's go ahead and slide the camera back and hit the power button. You'll see the cool runner flash, and then you'll see the console boot right there. I'm not going to show you the CPU key, but I will take you to the computer because I put the IP address in the computer, and you'll see everything uh, loaded up there. Um, 
and that's all there is to it guys from here all you have to do is build your uh, GG build file and then flash that to the NAND or if you're trying to recover a key you can flash your original stock NAND back because now you have your CPU key so then you can recover your DVD key and this is a Jasper console with CB6751 and this has been the Cool Runner Fat Install by Carolina Gamer so Carolina Gamer out